Hi, welcome again to ingvid.com. I'm Adam. In today's lesson, we're going to look at phrasal verbs again. I know everybody likes these. I've heard all the comments. So again, what are phrasal verbs? Phrasal verbs are a combination of a verb and a preposition that together have a very different meaning than the two words by themselves. Today's phrasal verbs are going to be with the verb fall. Fall apart, fall out, fall behind, fall for, fall through, fall in, fall in with, fall back, fall back on. Different meanings to in and in with, back and back on. So, let's start. Fall apart. Two, meaning, <clears throat> two meanings we're going to look at today. The first one is basically come apart or disintegrate or break off. So, if any of you have ever cooked ribs, do you like ribs? You know, like big stack of ribs, boil them, put them on the barbecue, cook them really, really well, then the meat just falls apart, just comes off the bones. Very, very delicious. Another meaning of fall apart is to have like a nervous breakdown. Okay, let's write that. <clears throat> Excuse me. A nervous breakdown, when, we, when someone has a nervous breakdown, <clears throat> I'm sorry, we say they have fallen apart. They have lost control of themselves emotionally. So an example of when does a person fall apart? If, uh, for example, if I had a girlfriend for a very, very long time, and one day she comes home, she says, bye, I'm leaving. Uh, you know, maybe I'll go crazy, I'll fall apart, I won't be able to work, I won't be able to sleep, I won't be able to do anything. That's not necessarily the way things happen, but for some people, that's how it happens. They just fall apart. Okay, fall out. So, I'm walking down the street, I'm, you know, I'm happy, I'm bouncing around, something falls out of my pocket. Basically, comes out and falls to the ground. That's the very basic term, fall out. Another meaning for fall out is when you have a fight or a quarrel with someone. You talk about something, you get into a disagreement, you fight, and then you don't speak to each other anymore. So basically, you had a falling out, if you want the noun of it. A falling out, a fight, okay? So a fallout, a fight. Another meaning, a third meaning, is basically consequences. For example, in a war, there's a big bomb dropped somewhere, and then all the fallout, all the things that fell out, and then all the results. The fallout from this attack was that many people were left homeless, or that many people were killed, or that the fight extended. So the fallout means the result or the consequence of something that happened, usually something bad. And then the consequences, of course, are also bad. Fall behind. Two, again, more than one meaning. The first meaning, fall behind, means to be a little bit behind. All my friends are walking, I'm walking with my friends, they're walking fast, and I start to fall behind. So another word is lag. Lag means be behind, not keep pace with. We also use this when we talk about debts. Like, for example, you have to pay bills. Every month, the phone company sends you a bill, and you pay it, and you pay it, but one month you missed. So then the next month, you have to pay last month's bill and this month's bill, but you don't have enough money, so you let a little bit more go. Now you're starting to fall behind on your payments. Eventually, the bank will come and take your phone, take your car, take your puppy, whatever you have that's worth any money. That's basically fall behind. Of course, if I drop this here, it will fall behind me, but that's too simple. Fall for. Okay, a couple of interesting meaning, meanings. Fall for. One, when you fall for something or fall for someone means you basically you fall in love. Okay? I went to the bar, I met this girl, I just, I just fell for her right then and there. I fell in love. I lost control. I wanted this person. But then, her friend came and told me that uh, for $50, he will give me her phone number. So I gave him $50 and he ran away. I fell for his trick. Okay? So fall for means believe something that is not true. Okay? If you are that type of person, you are gullible. I think I spelled that right. I'll have to check that later. Fall for means believe in a trick or believe in something that's not true or fall in love. Fall through. 
follow through means when you have a plan or you, you try to do something, but then at the end, it just didn't work. The, your attempt failed. So it fell through. So last month, I made uh, vacation plans to go to Florida. And then at the last minute, my boss told me, no, you have to come into work because uh, there's an emergency. We need to do something. So my plans fell through, fell through the floor, basically, and didn't come out. Now, if you're walking along the street again, and there's a sewer where the water goes in after the rain, and you drop your key, and they fall through the hole. So fall through. That's a simple explanation. Fall in. This is more like military. When, uh, when the drill sergeant says, fall in, everybody stands in line. In a straight line. We all fall in line. It also basically means get with the program or do what you're supposed to do. In a company, uh, a boss, for example, a supervisor, wants all his staff to fall in line with the program. He wants everybody to understand and follow what is needed to be done. Fall in with, basically it's the same idea, it means you follow something, but you do it unintentionally. Okay? So for example, if you fall in with the wrong people, you somehow join these people that you didn't really want to, but somehow it happened. So when you hear about gangs in America, for example, a lot of these kids who join gangs basically fell in with these people because that's what was around them, and then now they're part of the gang. They are gangsters. They didn't want to be, but they fell in with the wrong people who pulled them into the gang. Fall back. Again, I could fall back or backward, both okay. Fall back and fall back on are two different things. Fall back on, for example, I'm a teacher, but if for some reason I couldn't teach anymore, I also went to chef school. I know how to cook. So I can always fall back on my cooking skills to get a job. So it's like rely. Rely on something. I always have a backup. Something that I can do if something else doesn't work. I can fall back on that. Fall back is also means like get behind, for example, in bills, uh, payments or bills. I fell back on my payments. I have to catch up now. So there you go. Some phrasal verbs for fall. By the way, this was a request, a couple of requests for this, and that's why we have them here. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section on Ingvid, do the quiz, and I'll see you again soon.